We're going to be working on a couple quick transitions. One is a scissor roll, as well as a transition to something called a hip key. So make sure your hammock is set to the height of your hip flexors, and let's take a look. We're going to be covering the two ways that I know of to get into hip key. The first one is with that scissor roll. I don't see this as particularly hard as much as I see it a little pinchy if you're not used to being in your fabric. The first thing we'll do is find a seat. So most likely onto those toes to balance. And if I'm gonna be kicking with my left leg, that means my left arm is gonna come across my body. So holding onto the right pole, right on top, left underneath, leaning back for the kick. Left leg comes through and around. This is your scissor roll. That's the part that I feel a little pinchy. And you can come up to stand. Now the fabric should be in the upper right thigh. So I have left out, right in, and the legs come together like a little seat. So whatever side the fabric is on, we're gonna pull up and across. Legs can stay straight and piped, toes pointed of course. Or you could maybe bend the knees or cross the ankles as well as the arms. And then slowly unravel. And you should be able to just put that foot to the floor for the release. You may see hip key more frequently in aerial silks, but it's nice to practice it here as well. And you can add it into choreography. Make sure you do both sides. What I want you to work on is going from your scissor roll into your hip key without stopping in the middle and putting your foot on the floor. So trying not to touch the floor as you come through. Same setup. I will be bending my knees so I don't kick the wall. Right hand comes low, left hand high, leaning back. Right leg kicks and my knees bend, coming into my scissor roll. Not touching that floor, pivoting to the left for hip key. Reaching up for the release. So remember we want one fluid movement. If I went back to side one, coming up and over, scissor roll, up and over. I turn right into that thigh that has the fabric and reaching up for the release. So that's one way into our hip key. The other one that I know of, I think is a little more challenging, a little more exhilarating, if you will. Full disclosure, I have been wearing slippery pants and done this and slid right out of my fabric. So just make sure that as you do this, you are always holding on. I try to never do anything too dangerous with you since we're not together. I'm gonna come into a little hang right underneath my plumb line. From here, I reach up with my right hand, nice and high, and begin to lengthen up. I'm holding on with my right hand. So if my right hand is gonna do the reaching, I'm right across my hip flexors. I'm gonna kick the right leg up and through the fabric. Now notice, I'm in that same position where I've got one thigh covered and the other thigh exposed. From here, I can fold right into my hip key. I actually find this transition easier into hip key. So remember, you fold into the thigh that's connected to the fabric. And up. Remember, we have to train both sides. One side is gonna feel awkward. Unfortunately, that's just the way life is. So, just to review. And we wanna begin to transition right through into our hip key, so it's one seamless movement. I'm gonna reach up with my left. Coming up, so remember, if I'm holding left, I'm gonna bend the left leg. Even look over your shoulder. I'm gonna look over that left shoulder, kick through the window. Come up. I'm in that thigh, look one is in, one is out. I'm gonna fold into the thigh that has the fabric for hip key. Piking or bending, 
Really, it's stylized, whatever you want in your choreography. And coming up for the release. So there you have it, nothing crazy, but definitely challenging if you've never done that before. Make sure you work on your hip keys from both variations and your right and your left side. Hopefully I get to work with you soon in your hammock, and until then, namaste.